are listening to Voices of Faith with your host, Tina Hobson. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And enjoy you will. Yes, you will. Good evening, everybody. This is your host and the producer of the I Am A Superwoman Radio Network, Tina Hobson, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy Sunday evening. I know you're preparing for the upcoming work week. You're getting kids ready for school in the morning. You're getting ready to go to work, but you you took the time for yourself to be inspired, to be motivated, to be empowered, to be the best person that you can be. And and when you start a week off the way we're getting ready to start it off, you know that whatever, whatever happens in your life, you're going to be prepared for it. You're going to be blessed in it. And God is going to get the glory. So, again, I say thank you for being here tonight. Um, We have a very, very, very special guest. Her name is Miss Terry Remsen. She's an independent gospel artist, and the girl is bad. Let me tell you, I couldn't wait to get her on the show, and she's finally here. So I want you, like the announcement says, sit back, relax if you can and listen to the truth, the testimony, and the music of Miss Terry Remsen. Enjoy. And while I'm at it, just let me let me give you a, a little words, a few words of housekeeping. Um, mainly, we are a totally interactive show, which means we want you to participate in this show with us by um, doing one of three things, calling in to our chat line. And that number is 845-277-9243. Again, that's 845-277-9243. The second way that you can interact with us is by going over to our Blog Talk chat room. And it's simple. You just log in to www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash I am a superwoman too. That's the number two. And the third way that you can interact with us is by posting your questions, your compliments, your your comments on our Facebook events page. And the name of that page tonight that you just type in book search engine is Terry Remsen, the soulful indie gospel artist. And that title really doesn't um, do um, give her justice because she's a, a independent gospel artist, she's soulful, but she's she's so much more than that, and she's going to tell us all about who everything and 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 everything about her in just a few minutes. So, call in eight four five two seven seven nine two four three. We suggest that you hit the number one key on your telephone. That lets us know that you have something to say, and as soon as I get that signal, we'll call you in at the first opportunity, and you'll get to talk with our guest tonight, Miss Terry Remsen. So what we'd like to do tonight is something very, very special. We're going to start out with allowing you to listen to one of my favorite songs by Terry, and it's entitled Zion. Sit back and relax. When I lift my hands in worship, I get lost in him I don't ask him for anything I just honor him For 
I praise Him for what He's done, and I worship Him for who He is. He is my best friend. He is my everything. When I lift my hands and worship, I get lost in Him. Him for anything I just honor Him For I praise Him For what He's done And I worship Him For who He is He is my best friend. He is my everything. Zion, we need to learn how to worship and bless his name. Zion, you need to learn how to worship and bless his name there's healing in your worship when you bless his name Zion you need to learn how to worship and bless his name we bless your name Because I, I got a little happy there. I got, I got a little happy there, and I didn't want to interrupt the song. So I had to put myself on mute because, whoo, I felt that one. I felt that one right there. My goodness. And, and Mr. Henry Ford, wow, welcome home, Henry. You haven't been around for a while. But he's on in the um, blog talk chat room saying, yes, yes, yes. Well, we're excited. We're, this is just the top of the show. This is just the top of the show, so you can imagine what the rest of the show is going to be like. 
So I, I'm not going to even ask you to sit back and relax anymore because I can't relax. I just want want you to experience <laughs> this young lady, her, her personally and her music because she is exciting to me. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about her. I'm not going to even read her whole bio because I'm just too excited right now. I just got goosebumps all over the place. Woo! But but let me tell you that Terry, she is, wow, a gifted and talented, you already heard that, vocalist who is no stranger to the spotlight, the only daughter of a renowned national evangelist, Terry has been captivating audience since the age of five. Her early vocal training began under the tutelage of the late great Dr. Maddie Moss Clark, praise the Lord, and the incomparable Twinkie Clark. Terry continued her studies at the Settlement Music School, West Barron Acting School, Renee Studio Acting School, and currently with the infamous Brandon Winbush, vocal arranger, arranger for Justin Bieber. This powerhouse entertainer is an accomplished soloist and actress that has been blowing audience away at national conventions, conferences, stage plays, musicals, and more. I almost ran out of breath there. <laughs> Terry has shared the stage with Grammy Award winning Karen Clark Sheard, Nikki Potts, Daryl Coley, Dorinda Clark Cole, Tremaine Hawkins, Vicki Winans, and Kiara Kiki Sheard. She acted in such stage plays, including Miracle, um, oh my God, Torn Derek, The White Room, and Christmas Without Him. You can currently find Terry doing what she does best, bringing the house down with her spectacular talent. Terry, welcome to the Voices of Faith Power Hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. How are Thank you? you so, I'm doing great, and I'm excited to be here on this evening and excited that you're having me. And that's all I can say. I'm just excited. Thank you. And I'm honored <laughs> that you chose to have me. Oh, my goodness, girl, believe me, it is my honor. When when I first heard your music, I was I was just blown away. I believe it was on Jerry Royce Live, Late Night. Oh, wow, um, yes, Jerry, yeah. yes. So I was in the kitchen doing what I do, you know, keeping everybody in the chat room, you know, occupied and keeping their attention and everything, even though we do get off for sometimes over there because we – end up having conversations that don't have nothing to do with the show. I mean, we keep it clean, but it's just, right, right, we just right. get off into a world of our own. That late night show is awesome, awesome. Five nights a week of nothing but awesome, talented indie gospel artists, their testimonies, music reviews, um, listening parties. Oh, we have a good time over there on Jerry. Oh yeah, I show. love. We really do. I love. I so love that show. That's that's my shout out for my boy Jerry tonight. Cause believe me, it is because of him that this show is back on the air. I had this girl. I had to shut it down for a while for licensing purposes, um, mm-hmm. licenses that I didn't have um, to play. You know, mainstream gospel music. So Jerry kind of um, pulled my coattail like, um, sweetheart, we need, well, he didn't say we because he did, it already did what he needed to do. He said, but um, we need, you need to make some changes. And so I immediately shut it down. And then Jerry met um, Bishop Steve Walters of Agara and immediately introduced me to him. And there in Agara's wonderful platform of, of independent yes. gospel artists, and yes. there you were. <laughs> there wow. you were, along with Anthony Avery, Dante Holland, um, Charles Sears, Arthur Rowland, Nate, Nate Ware, all of you wonderful, wonderful artists. And that allowed me to kind of recreate the show, brought it back under a different name, um, showcasing only independent gospel artists now. 
I'm blessed. Girl, I am yes, so, you are. so yes. blessed. God really, really did his thing. It was, it was a blessing that I didn't have the license. It really was. Because if I had had it, I wouldn't have probably been open to independent gospel artists because I had been seeing indie, indie artists. And, and me with my crazy self, I'm like, Andy, I'm thinking cultural. <laughs> you know? I'm like, I'm not playing no Indian music. You know, I'm in America. <laughs> and um I look back at that and I just crack up. But when 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 it was explained to me and I heard what, what you guys and gals were all about, I'm like, Okay guys, you did it again. I'm back on and every single Sunday night I'm showcasing primarily um Igara's gospel um artists and I'm 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 pleased. I am just Totally, totally pleased. God yes. has not failed this girl at all. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, Terry, we, we heard some of your music. We're going to play. I was created a little bit later, um, but we heard you. Oh, that voice, that voice, that voice, that voice. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Wow. It's, it's just amazing. And and we heard a little bit about you, but I want you to tell our listening audience, especially Mr. Henry Ford, because he's my Superman. I just love that gentleman to life. You know, people Hello, Mr. Henry. Have, you know, I love him to life. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hello, Henry. Hello, Mr. Probably Henry Ford. There. You said Henry you Ford? Him. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I know Hello, he's over there blushing. <laughs> he's blushing because he loves attention. He just loves it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my favorite person. I just love him. I love him. I love him. But we uh, appreciate yeah, him. A, yeah. Yes, we do. But, Henry, that's enough about you. Um, <laughs> Terry, who is Terry Remsen? Who is Terry Remsen? Let me see here. I am just a young lady that, that loves God's people. I, I love kingdom business. So meaning I just love all people, whether you are part of the church, not in the church. I just love people. And um, I'm a pastor's wife. I'm a, um, a mother. I'm a grandmother. Uh, I, I wear many hats. I'm the praise team leader at our church. Um, I also do a little acting and a little uh, modeling and two uh, internet TV shows. It's called All wow. About Terry, which comes on um, three internet stations, All Nations TV, Living Witness TV, and Inspirational Faith Network. So um, I have my own show. We're on. We're about to start our fourth season um, coming September the 19th. Um, we, we've Ooh, been uh, taping and doing sh- Yeah, we've been taping and doing this show for over a year. And God is, well, we're going on two years, and God has really blessed us. And it all started when I signed up with Igara, and Igara was such a blessing. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting one of the phone calls, and from one show, it led to three different stations. And then we just got offered another station to go on. So, you know, God has just been good, and things are happening. You know, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do because, you know, I'm not young. I'm getting older and you know, I wanted God to allow me to do some things, and it seems like as soon as I said, God, I need you to do this for me, he just started yeah. lining things up. It seemed like it was taking a long time, and I wanted a lot of things to happen in my younger age. But you know what? I mm-hmm. am grateful that he chose to use me at this time because now I believe that I can appreciate it more. Um, I believe God has worked yeah. on me a lot, and he's preparing me for such a time as this. He's preparing me for the people that I'm going to have to minister to because I know I'm going to have to minister to people outside the church. I know what my assignment is and God had to prepare me for the assignment. So I'm just grateful to God. So, you know, right now I'm fine. I used to worry about my age, but now I am fine because God's (laughs) timing is better than mine. I know that's right. Well, you know, the thing is you put in the work, you know, faith without works is dead. Is you good, have been, yes. You know, you've been singing since the age of five. And let me five. tell you, let me tell you, do not ever let age be a deterrent. My motto is 
It's never too late to be great, Terry. All I right, started right. this radio show at the age of 60. I wrote my first book at the age of 60. I'm working on my fourth wow. one now. So I know what God can do with age. With And I'm not, I'm going to say wisdom. I didn't always have any. You know, I, I didn't have much. At Absolutely. least I didn't show it. You know, Absolutely. I did a lot of crazy stuff. But he said, okay, once you get settled, and, mm-hmm. and then you get your mind right and do what I've asked you to do to fulfill that purpose and the plan that I originally had for you. So I'm going to bless you. And he's been Absolutely. blessing my thoughts off. And Absolutely. I hear him doing the absolute same thing with you. You put the work Absolutely. in. And, and yes. he, he's pleased. Good and faithful servant. Terry Remsen. Yes, okay. Yes, oh, my God. That is beautiful. Beautiful. So, so, Mom, your parents, were they the ones who actually, you know, the, the, were? The, I know you said that you were um, with um, Maddie Clark, oh, my God, an icon in, in gospel music. Yes. Oh, my God, that lady could sing. She didn't know how to yes. sing. She sang. She sang that thing. And, and, and she's a how did you meet teacher. her? Okay. Well, you know, my okay. mother is my my mother is a national evangelist for the Church of God in Christ, and so that's all I knew growing up. And because she was a part of the Church of God in Christ, she traveled, and um, Dr. Clark took my mother in as her goddaughter, and so Dr. Clark mm. became my spiritual grandmother. And so the Clark sisters are like family to me, and I always laugh because now that I'm older, I see the young people growing up, and they're calling them aunties. You know, Aunt Dorinda, Aunt Karen, and I'm laughing because yeah. I'm I'm older than these young people that are coming up calling them this, and I've been calling them this for years before th- <laughs> this became their name. And so they're okay. like my real aunts because Maddie Moss Clark took my mother in as her daughter, and she um, took the children in as her grandchildren. And so whenever the Clark sisters would come to the house, Twinkie would sit me on the piano and have me mimic her and have me sing the chords and, you know, act like her and do the squalling like her. And so it was nothing for the Clark sisters to come to the house and be there and spend the night and sleep in the bed. It was nothing. And they're like actually my real aunts. And so that's the story behind that. And if you would Google my mother's name, her name is Maria Gardner Langston. Okay. You will see where she was singing with the Clark sisters and how she sung with um, Essie Moss. And a lot of them years ago, and they recorded. And so that's how this all came about. It was their first album, my mother's first album that she made, and she made it with the Clark Sisters. So you can see that if you Google my mother's name. Well, you know I just did. <laughs> you know I just did. Uh-huh. Wow, I Maria. wish I had known before because I would, you know, definitely made her a part of the events page on Facebook which is not too late. It's, oh, I could still add anything I want to it. Oh, but that yes, is absolutely wonderful. So you are actually a Clark sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we don't want to make nobody mad. <laughs> um, oh, well, okay. Well, I sure wish they were tuned in tonight. But um, oh, we've got yeah. you. We've got yes, we've got the little the young young Clark sister. Oh Terry, oh my God, that had to be so exciting. Did you really at that early age did you really realize the magnitude of who you were, were associated with? No, ma'am, I did not. Um I was a I was a shy young lady and it was my mother that pushed me to sing. Many times I would cry because she would make me sing. And she would say, you know, you're going to sing. And so I guess she had the spirit of Maddie Moss Clark because she would tell me, no, you're going to sing. And she would make me and my brothers sing. And she would rehearse with us and make us sing, you know. And I would always tell her, Mommy, I don't want to sing. And I think I really realized that this is what God was calling me to do in ministry when my hus- I married my husband and he started pastoring because I, I was more so into acting and modeling before I got married. Mm-hmm. Singing was like secondary. I did sing because I went to school and I was a music student, you know, but as far as me thinking I was going to take it on the way I have now and become a passion, I did have it. I thought maybe I was going to be a model or actress. 
And so I took classes for that, and I was in, you know, different commercials. But the singing, and it became a passion once my husband started pastoring. And you know how that is when you start a church, you got to fill in those blanks where nobody's available. So I had to, you know, open it up with the prayer, and then I had to sing the worship song. And he was on the organ, and it just became a passion as he, he started pastoring. And that's when God spoke to me and said, this is what I called you to do. And not only did he call me to sing, but now he's developing me to preach. So now, you know, I'm a husband's Ooh. co-pastor. So I'm just wearing a lot of hats here. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Pastor Terry Robinson. All right now. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. And, 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 okay, you told me how, you know, God blended you in to the church through your husband. Now, what roles do your children play in your ministry? Well, my son, he, um, I'm on my son's label now. Uh, he has a label. Yes. I'm with my son. Um, my son also plays the drums. He's also a producer. He writes. And so he's like, he's dealing with the uh, secular world. Um, he writes for uh, London and he writes for different television uh, companies. So he's really doing a lot. And so he's helping me. And even with my project, he's wrote a lot of songs for me, which, you know, many will hear next year when God releases the full project. He's a very talented young man for his age and you know I am grateful to God because he just blew me away in the last four years with his writing ability his producing ability and then for him to have a label and he has people on his label that kind of blew me away and he's only 24 years old and God has really oh richly God. blessed him and um, he's just a wonderful wonderful young man and I'm just honored to call him my son but you know in the near future Ooh. his name will ring out loud even more more so that you know the kingdom of God will be able to know who my son is but he's a fantastic young man I was created he had a lot to do with that and producing that along with the young man who wrote the song and then like I said when the full project comes out you'll hear his writing ability because he wrote a lot of the songs on the full project oh my goodness that is absolutely amazing so talent just it flows down. It flows down through the entire family, and that's that's a blessing. That's a blessing yes, that you know that you can 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 depend on and rely on. You know, family members who who have your heart just weren't born with your genes, but they literally have your heart and passion yes. for the things that you do. Yes, yeah, that's, that's the only way I can amazing. do it. Yeah, that's that's the only way I can do this. Um, I have a team, you know, that believes in what I'm doing. Um, they support what I'm doing. You know, it's a lot of work when you're an emerging artist. They told us to stop being independent. So when you're an emerging artist, it's a lot of work. Emerging. But because I have a passion for it, you know, I don't mind putting in the time for it. And I know you have to go through the process, even though I I know different people that are in the industry. I don't, you know, take that as a stepping stone for me to get ahead because God wanted to take me through the process so that I can appreciate each time that he elevates me because I can easily, you know, do name dropping, but I'm not going to do that. I actually told God yeah. I want to be able to go through the process because I don't want anybody to say we helped her make it. I want to be able to give all mm. the glory to God and say God did this. And that's exactly what God is doing because he blows my mind every day because it's always some new door that's opening for me and the favor of God yeah. is definitely on my life and I am definitely grateful for it and I will never take advantage of the gift that he's placed on my life and I promised God that what all I wanted to do was just to bless the kingdom and I know some people may get offended when I say this I'm not concerned about church people I'm concerned about kingdom business those that are scared and afraid to come to church those that left the church those that said they would never go to church those that have been talked about because they're gay they're lesbians or they're partying or they're clubbing or they're drinking or they're living you know adulterous lives i want to reach those yeah. people i want to reach those those <laughs> club goers i want to reach the the people that hang out in the strip clubs those are the people's lives that i want to touch yeah. i am not here to save the church over again these people have been in church all their lives and know about god shame on you because what you should be doing <laughs> is reaching the kingdom and that is my assignment 
My assignment is to bless the kingdom, to bless the nations. My voice has to be heard to those that are unchurched. And I know God is going to open up the door and set that platform where I can be the one to touch their lives. Wow. You, oh, you said a mouthful. You said a mouthful. Because the people that you say that you, you have a passion for, you know, the those the underdogs, you know, the ones who absolutely have been the misfits that the world calls them, you know, those are the real children of God. They don't yeah. people better wake up. People better wake up. The widows, the ones in prison, the house, you know, the sick and shut in, those that are are, are drug addicted. These people, they're sick. You know, they're not right. using drugs just because they want to. You know, Absolutely, and I've yes. seen and heard churches who don't want these people. You know, I've heard it. They, too, they yes. make fun of the gay people. You know, they make fun of. You know, they they look at you different if if you're coming in the church and and you're shacking up. You know, they 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 shame you and embarrass you through their words, you know, behind that pulpit. And God, oh, I'd hate to see the ones that God say, I don't know you, you know, because you are my people. Absolutely. And I can imagine there's no hurt like church church hurt. None whatsoever like church hurt. My God. I I know know my assignment, and I know many will not – Agree with it, but I, I, I've gotten to. That's why I know God had to wait till I became the age that I am, because if I was younger, I wouldn't be able to handle what the naysayers or what they would say about what God has called me to do. And I'm at a point now. It's not about you. It's about me and God. I got to please God. I have to answer to God. Mm. I can't please you. And many of the naysayers, you know, they do the same thing. You know, and as I as I grew older in God, I realized those that talk the most about these different things that people struggle with, they're struggling with the same thing. It's just that you have Amen. not been uncovered, and God has not yeah. revealed or uncovered you. He's kept you covered, and he hasn't brought you to Amen. an open shame. But if we go in your closet, you are doing the same thing. Amen. Amen. And you know God is revealing these people. Yes. God is yes. revealing them the the homosexual tendency, the the perverted people who are messing with children in the church. You know, those are who mm-hmm. are going behind that pulpit on Sunday mornings after they've been snorted a, a whatever it is worth of cocaine. You know, these people are being revealed one by one by one. So they, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, the, you know, the church hasn't gotten so at with the person in the church because it's not about a building. But I hope they're seeing what's happening and, and take heed because God ain't playing with them. He's not, I, I was going to say he's not playing with them no more, but he ain't never played with them. But he is really serious now about playing with his people. He'll take you out of here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh yes, you know, and I'm I'm not perfect, and I and I would never say that I'm perfect. That's why you know you have to be careful when you judge people, because like you said, mm-hmm. everybody has a reason for doing what they do. That's why I have a problem when people judge. You know, you don't know why they're struggling with that. There's there's an issue going on there. Let's find yeah. out what the issue is before we're going to judge one another. But you know, again, I I'm I'm over the church thing. I'm more kingdom minded. I'm I'm thinking kingdom now. I'm thinking of those that Amen. are church hurt, like you said, those that have never been to church or those that want to come but they feel like they're gonna be judged. I, I'm so over the church thing now. I've been in church all my life. I've seen it. There's no there's no scripture you can't quote me that I don't know the revelation knowledge about. There's there's no Sunday okay. school lesson that you have taught that I haven't heard a thousand times. So, you know, I'm over that. Amen. I'm more now about saving souls. Amen. As it should be. As it should be. Amen. Amen. And I, I felt your passion. I felt you. I felt you. You ain't playing. You are not no, playing. Man. And no, man. anybody who tries to come up against you, I kind of 
I feel sorry for them a lot because they're going to get oh, sacked wow. down. Oh, wow. Thank you so Ooh, much. Lord Thank have you mercy. So. <laughs> and trust me, I, I've, I, we've gone, I've gone through a lot, you know, um, scandalized, talked about, lied on, mm. blogged on. You know, we, I have, we have no shame in our game. You know, we've been yeah. blogged on, lied on, you know, just, just a whole, just a various amount of things. And I, it was God preparing me for such a time as this because I know where yeah. I'm going and I know the higher up you go, the enemy is going to fight you. And if I can't handle this, yeah. then how am I going to handle greater? So, I, you know, it, right. it's all good. No, it didn't feel good going through the process, but I had to go through the process in order for me to be prepared for where God is taking me. And and you did just that. You went through. Yes, <laughs> you ma'am. went through. You didn't let let all of that that those naysayers stop you from from God's purpose for you, and and yes, that ma'am. that that says a lot about your character, your integrity, and your love and passion for God, because yes, the ma'am. average person would have have just sold it, you know, just would have crumbled, and yeah. And, Wow, but you made it. You you went through it. You went through the fire, and, and when yes, you had ma'am. said that, you know, we both said that people don't know, they can't they can't judge your praise because they don't know what you went through. You know, I've heard it don't take all that. It don't. Yes, it does. It takes that and then some and to, some to, more. To, yeah, to edify my God, who has yes. done what He's done for me. I don't know what yes. He's done for you. But I know what he's done for me. Oh, yeah. my God. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for Terry. Amen. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Well, Terry, other than, and I know you, 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 you're an extension of, of the Clark family and everything, but other than them, who, who actually inspires you? I know God does. Oh, you know Wow. That. You know, who's your, your musical inspiration? Okay, now, you know, I love all types of music for everybody just listening. Now, don't be deep and wonderful on me, okay? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, come on, um, Now, you know, now, here's another one. Now, this is going to, you know, some people, they're not ready for this, but, I, again, I'm keen to mind it. It's come on, cool with it me. I am definitely inspired. You know, I, I'm inspired by people that have an anointing and that have a yeah. testimony. Um, yeah. And I am so inspired by Lee Andrea Johnson. I don't care well, what people say about her. The young lady is anointed. And that's okay. why the enemy is fighting her so hard. And I'm so godly yeah. proud of her because she's hanging in there. She's but standing I'm up. Just, I'm, yeah. I, I'm just so godly proud. And I pray for her all the time because I know the enemy wants to wipe her out because she's a vessel and she has she's a mouthpiece and she has a voice yes. that needs to be yes, heard ma'am. for this gen for this generation. Um I'm also um inspired by by of course the Clark sisters. We can't leave them out. They definitely right, inspire right. me. And um I'm inspired by Fantasia. Like I said, I listen to all Girl, types why of music. Did I think you was gonna say that? See, I'm in, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh my I'm God, that was all up in my spirit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm in, I'm inspired by her. I'm blessed by her ministry. Yes, I said ministry because no matter what type of music she sings, it's about the message. It's not about the music. It's about the message that she's given forth and those that she's drawing. Because if you go and sit and listen to her, it, it, it's still in her. It's still in her. I don't care what nobody mm. says. Before it all ends, she's going to take a whole nother turn. Okay. But I believe God has set her before these people that need to hear her voice because she's kingdom minded now. God is dealing with her. I'm 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 definitely inspired by her. I'm inspired by Donnie McClurkin. I'm going to speed it up now. Donnie McClurkin. I'm inspired by uh, Smokey Norfolk. Uh, it's just so many of them that I, I admire and I watch because of their tenacity uh, it, and because of their stick to itness, regardless of what they've been through. They're sticking and they're hanging it out, no matter what people are saying about them. They're holding holding on to yeah. God, knowing that God is with them. And I'm inspired. That keeps me encouraged to make me keep pushing wow. forward. Um, I just thought about somebody else, and it just slipped my mind. 
Um, it's just so Marvin Sapp. He's another one. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. He's anointed yeah, yeah. people of God. Anybody that's anointed, I'm inspired by you, Kim Burrell. I'm inspired Ooh. by these people because they have such a great anointing on your life. And it's a, a lot of things we don't know that, that they went through on the backside of the mountain for God to prepare mm-hmm. them for where they are now. And that's why mm-hmm. I'm inspired by them. So that's just a few. Um, but, I, I, hey, if they're anointed, I'm inspired. <laughs> okay. And there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, and you named some powerful, powerful, like you said, anointed and appointed people. Um, I haven't yes. heard a lot from um, Smokey lately. I want to be getting but, ready to come up with something. I, powerful. Okay, you know what? You, you, now you know he gonna come back hard on us. Okay, like, Lord Jesus. So he, he Ooh, probably yeah. said, he probably fasting and praying somewhere and writing them lyrics because. He's an anointed man of God. Yes. Kirk Franklin is another one. You know, you got to yes. respect these people for where God has them. You got to do Absolutely. that. You know, sometimes we, we're judging oh. them because of their music. And I keep telling people it's not about the music. Mm-hmm. It's about the lyrics. It's about the lyrics. Even if you sing a love song, God is love. Why are we offended about love? Mm-hmm. He is love. Absolutely. So, you know, and we get it all twisted. Oh, they're singing worldly music. Hey, if it's about love, it's okay. You know, because when when you're married and you have a mate, you're not going to be one of them singing Blessed Assurance. Because I know I'm not singing no Blessed Assurance to my husband. (laughs) Okay. Come on, stop it now. Stop it now. (laughs) Oh, my God. So ask me what? I'm go my my son wrote me a love song for those that are married and and you want to hear a love song again because again you don't want to hear no blessed assurance. Yes. That you, we need oh to stop gosh. it. Cuz we there is just so much talent in this world especially the independent artists. I'm looking they they can Oh my just, god, yes. They can stand yes. toe to toe with mainstream gospel yes. artists. These people, you know from from the contemporary to the hip hop and 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 the yes. gospel rap. Oh my God! Yes. And I know some, you know, the older things. You know, they singing like you said that club song, that rap song. Man, do you know how many people those those artists are bringing to Christ? The Come young people here. who are identifying That's their assignment. with them. That's okay. right. That's I respect respect the assignment. Respect the assignment. Ooh, Lord, and whatever way it takes, you know. Sometimes it's it's even, you know, the non the non Christian. You know, people will see you go through stuff, and like when you come out, you they like, man, she made it. She made it through. I want what she's got. I might not want to go through what she wants, but I want what she has. So she made it. And and I'll tell a person, it was only God. Because I was yes, killing myself. Yes. But he had a plan. He had yes. a plan. So if you want what I got, you better go, you better worship the one that I worship today because he's the only one who can do it. He's the Absolutely. only one who can do it. Beautiful. But he, ooh, touch not my anointed. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Terry, well, I tell you what, what, where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, it's like quarter till. Let, I can't leave this show without playing I Was Created. We're going to play that, and then we're going to come back with some more questions, and you're going to give us something to take us through the week, and we just going to, we going to, girl, I can't stop grinning. I'm just going <laughs> to <here smiling. laughs> I am so happy tonight. Oh my God. This show and my guests, y'all just y'all just take me to another level. You really do. Thank you, Terry. Oh, thank so you. So much for being here tonight. Oh my goodness. All right, Mr. Ford said in the beginning he didn't know how long he was gonna be able to stay. He ain't went nowhere yet. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> thank you for hanging with us, Mr. Henry. Thank you. And the- in the chat room with us, and I'm I'm going to tiptoe real quick over to the um Facebook page to see um Ruby Kibler. She's left a comment, and who else is over here? Um, I know Jerry Royce is talking somewhere. 
<laughs> oh yeah, he did. I know he left the comment. I know he's doing his own thing, but I know he he's paying attention to who's on my show because he wants to make sure I make him look good. <laughs> I got you, Jerry. I got your back. I got your back always. That's my boy. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. Ford, I got something good for you. The next song I'm going to play is I Was Created by Terry Remsen. Okay. You're going to like this one. You're going to like this one a lot. It's going to pick you up. Wow. I was created. Are you ready? Let's take it to church.
<laughs> God, I'm sweating now, Terry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just jumping and twirling around in my chair. I'm sweating. Oh my! If that song don't put something in you, you already did. I'm sorry. You know, this song okay. will make you get. Up and just do it. I was created to give him praise. That is, oh, that's awesome. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome song. With like I said, Thank with you. Such an, that voice of yours is just, oh, it's out of this world. It's godly. It's Thank spiritual. You. Thank it's, you so much. It's, it's all that and then some. Oh my, let me see what Mister Four said. He over, he over on Facebook sharing and. And talking about you, and oh, you just having a good time oh, up Mr. here. Oh, Mr. Boy, thank hey. you. <laughs> okay, well, let me real quick before we have to go. If you're on the phone lines, and there are some of you there, um, if you want to talk to Terry, um, you're already on the phone line. Just hit that number one key on your phone that will give me a signal that you've got something to say, and I'll bring you right in so you can talk to this so dynamic, dynamic gospel singer, Terry Rumson. Thank Ooh, you. you Thank to, you. Oh, my God. I'm just, well, I'm sweaty now. I'm going to have to take another shower, <laughs> another bath <laughs> before I go to bed. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, Terry, 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 um, which one – of your songs best describes who you are? Uh, it probably would be, oh, wow. Mm. Uh, oh, that's a tough one. Because both of them, the, uh, Zion and I Was Created do uh, describe me because I am a worshiper. Mm. I was created basically explaining what that, you know, what God created me to do was to give him praise. So, yeah. Remind everybody that you got to give him praise. No, ma- no matter yes, what you're yes, dealing with, yes. you still got to praise him. I don't know. That's that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. So if I had to okay. pick one, I would say uh, I was created. Because in my growth in God, I'm learning what I was created to do. To do. Amen. I, I, I feel that. I feel that. Because that one, it, it, it takes you there. It, it, and it reminds you of where you came from. You know, yes, yes, and and yes. and 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 it it just exudes gratitude. You know, it just yes. exudes praise. Oh my God, talk about! Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm fanning now, and I'm not even going through the change. Y'all have been there, done that. Okay, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just woo, on fire over here. My goodness, wow. We talked about so much in such a short. We didn't talk about a guy. Well, first, you can't forget to tell, um, for you to tell us all where we can purchase your music, how we can get in contact with you um, for booking, engagements, all of that good stuff. Yes, ma'am. I'm all over. Uh, you can find me on in, any digital download. iTunes would be great. You can download okay. both songs, Zion. Zion is on iTunes. Um, uh I was created on iTunes. You can find me on Twitter under Sing Terry Sing, or on Instagram Sing Terry Sing, and then on Facebook you can find me under Terry, and then my last name is Rimson R I M as in Mary, S O N as in Nancy. So you can find me anywhere. Okay. And also, Just if, they, if they want to, if they wanted to email me. You can email me at uh, Terry Rimson Music at yahoo.com or you can go to my website and check some things out on there and that's www.terryrimsonmusic.org. TerryRimsonMusic.org. Okay, I'm typing that in the chat room so we make sure I'll have that for later. Okay. Wow, yes, I mean, that's on there, amazing. And on there, you could uh, purchase my, my I have T-shirts for the tour that I'm on. I've um, been traveling since May the 30th on tour, and I've gone to Detroit, Dallas, San Francisco, Long Beach, Augusta, Georgia, Atlanta, Dallas, 
and I have four more states to go to, and then we'll end it up here in Philadelphia on December the 4th. Wow. Well, Philadelphia, well, now I'm, we're in Cleveland, so that's not a whole long, long way away, but Detroit was close. Oh, my yes, goodness. Ma'am. I opened up Detroit there on May the 30th. Okay. Wow. Well, you've got to make sure, you've got to make sure anytime you step foot in, in Ohio, any part of yes, Ohio, ma'am. that you let yes, us ma'am. know because shoot, we'll, we'll create a, 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 a road trip. I want to come and see you because, oh, oh I my love God. To come there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow, Terry, oh, my goodness, I hate when we get ready to run out of time. But um, <laughs> to our, our, our listening audience, what final words of inspiration would you like to leave with us? My final words of inspiration is, you know, this is a time and season where a lot of us are becoming discouraged because we feel like what God has promised us throughout the years that, you know, he's not going to bring it to pass or It's not going to ever happen. And I just want to encourage you, you can't give up. You're almost at the breaking of day, even though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, or even sometimes it seems like it's a little cloudy, or even it seems like God sometimes is just not listening. Just know he's preparing something great for you, and you just got to hold on. If you can't hold on to anything, hold on to his word, because he is not a man that he should lie. And if he spoke it, he has to do it. And because he's not a liar, and it's not even mm-hmm. in his nature to lie. You got to trust mm-hmm. and know that he's going to do it. And sometimes it looks like I said it looks like things are getting worse, but God is actually setting you up for something greater. And He trusts you, and He knows that you can handle it. But go through the process, knowing you're going to come out on the other side, and you're going to look at at the situation, and you're going to laugh. But God is actually using your calamity as a testimony. So I just want to encourage everyone that's listening on tonight, whatever God said that he was going to do in your life, whether it was 10 years ago, hold on to what he said because he has to do it. And I believe that he's going to do it. Many things that God's going to do, it's going to blow our mind because we thought he had forgotten all about us. About us, But those of us that have been faithful and we have suffered, God said, if you suffer with me, you shall reign with me. Mm. So I just believe this is the year that we're going to come out victorious. So just be encouraged and know that God shall bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. Terry, I just, you know, I just want to say thank you. I've calmed down some. Uh, just a little <laughs> bit. Just a little bit. Wow. But I I am so humbled by your presence tonight. No, and, and I'm humbled your, by your, your presence. Yes. Girl, well, we're humbled by each other's presence. So we'll be yes, here all ma'am. night. Yes, ma'am. Back yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Back yes, ma'am. yes, ma'am. No, I'm more humble. No, you're more humble. No, I'm... <laughs> oh, my God. This has been absolutely awesome. I'm so happy that you finally made it here. And on the night that my brother and me Ford decided to, to make his appearance back on Sunday <laughs> night, you know, we want to keep him in prayer. His, his wife had been very, very ill, and um, oh, I'm, she's doing praying. better. She's doing yes. much better, and he has been one awesome caregiver for his wife. He talk about a man who loves his wife, who is dedicated, has been dedicated to her care. This man has been there. He has been wow. there. And um, I, I just awesome. admire him so much. He's, he's faithful. He's faithful. He's supportive and so loving, so loving. And he's silly, too. He over there putting up a pictures of smiley faces with men with one teeth, one tooth. He's oh, just, Lord. <laughs> he's, he's just silly. He's just silly. But um, back to you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you, thank, oh, thank you, thank you. you. And um, I played Zion in the beginning. Some people didn't, might not have gotten to hear it. So we're going to close out with Zion. How about that? That sounds great to me. All right. Well, everybody, again, thank you for listening in to a Sunday night, to our Sunday night edition of Voices of Faith Power Hour. Oh, my God, are you appreciated? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 
you took time out of your busy Sunday evening to spend um, to spend with me and Terry and Mr. Ford. And believe me, we appreciate you immensely. Yes. Have a blessed week. Um, our show tomorrow night is the Miss. No, it's Sylvia's show tomorrow night, the Golden Trumpet Financial Fitness Show at 8 o'clock. Tuesday, Miss Savvy Pro. Wednesday, Darnella Allen. Thursday, Miss Kiki Cornelius. Back here on Friday with me. And then again next Sunday, another edition of Voices of Faith Power Hour. So have a blessed week, everybody. And we're going to close out with Terry Rimson. Zion. Have a blessed night, everybody. When I lift my hands in worship I get lost in Him. I don't ask Him for anything. I just honor Him. For I praise Him for what He's done. And I worship Him for who He is. my everything When I lift my hands and worship I get lost in Him I don't ask Him for anything I just ask Near him, for I praise him for what he's done, and I worship him for who he is. He is my best friend. He is my head. How to worship and bless his name. Zion, you need to learn how to worship and bless his name. There's healing in your worship. When you're blessed 